We have Saudi Arabia and Iran exchanging more saber rattling, but to be honest with you, between these two countries, I think that when they drop their threats, it's not Kim Jong-un threats, let's put it that way. These countries know they hate each other, and they know that words can escalate quickly, and military movement can escalate quickly. We've had Iran make a move here recently where they tried to test a missile, and it failed. And they're saying that that design was based on North Korean design, that it failed. And then Saudi Arabia made the comment that if anything is to happen, it's going to happen inside of Iran. Well, Iran responds and says, no, uh, we're going to raise Saudi Arabia, everything except for Mecca and Medina, if they attack Iran. Now, of course, some can chalk this up as saber rattling, but honestly, and the quakes are hitting up here in Alaska. I'm going to have to do a separate video on that. But to use this map, you can see that Iran and Saudi Arabia are separated here by the Persian Gulf. And we have troops in Afghanistan, Iraq, the whole boogeyman they've created all up and through here. The troops in Saudi Arabia, and then, then Kuwait. And they've been bombing the hell out of Yemen. Now, what I find very interesting here is that if you go and you look to their beliefs, I try to put all the cards on the table to understand their way of thinking. I don't try to stay in a box. You don't have to believe in their religious beliefs, but I think it's wise to know what other people are thinking, their mentality. And in doing so, what I come across may surprise many people. It is the talk of Jesus, and this isn't to get all religious for those that are not religious, but I believe in Yeshua. I believe in a Messiah. I believe in a righteous one. I believe there's a yin to every yang in the evil that we see here on this planet. And I think it's pretty crazy that out of the Islamic teachings, out of the Hadith, they don't state that it's Muhammad that takes out the Dajjal. They teach that it is what they call the prophet Jesus that descends at the end times and chases the Dajjal. This is interesting. Of course, these are two separate religions. They don't believe that he died on the cross. There's a big separation on how they paint the picture. But if you look at the detail, it's the son of Mary at the last hour that comes down and he mentions smoke, the Dajjal, the beast, the rising of the sun from the west, and landslides happening in three places, one in the east, one in the west, and one in Arabia. At the end of which... Fire will burn forth from the Yemen. It is written in their text, and you don't think that Saudi Arabia hasn't laid its eyes on these passages? And they are currently bombing the hell out of a Yemen? The Houthis that are backed by Iran, they say? Now where would it be strategic for Iran to strike from? Would it even be from their own country, or would it be from Yemen? Would it be to supply them with the weapons? As far as I can see, their own writings are calling for Saudi Arabia to be annihilated from Yemen. This is also interesting, and you can see here, in looking at both, it tries to lay out here the Islamic in reference to the biblical references of this. You can see here, it talks about the Mount of Olives, and it says, near the city of Feek in Syria. And it says that Christ will pursue the Dajjal and destroy him on the, air, on the airfield of Lydda. Yeshua, this is stating. Okay, and I think people need to see this and realize this, understand that this is what they're stating. Of course, they paint it in a different light, but I want you to see that in these texts, it clearly paints the picture when speaking of Yahshua, the Dajjal, of any one place that gets lit on fire, it is Arabia from Yemen. And I think it's something to make, make note of as these two continue to spar back and forth. So, in terms of these two, I wanted to get this out there real quick. I'm going to talk about this more in another video in terms of the whole world stage because I think that this is this all ties in 
to the next big war. And these two are obviously sitting on opposite sides of that line. So when lines are drawn, these two, literally, the Persian Gulf will separate these two juggernauts of the region, so to speak, right there head to head, nothing but the Persian separating them. I, I really, truly don't think that a launch from Iran would be in their best interest. And with the, the talk of Yemen right there in that passage, something to keep in mind. In knowing that these world leaders treat this thing as a stage, and we'll talk about this more later, and use some of these scriptures as a playbook, I, I don't doubt it one bit. So, things start to escalate here. Just keep in mind, where did Trump say he's going? The Vatican, Saudi Arabia, and Israel. The writing is on the wall. This is Dabu 7, and this is Columinati.